Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Molly and we're doing a night routine. So I did a morning routine a few weeks ago and you guys liked it and asked for a night routine. So I'm doing that now. So when I get home from school, I do wear a uniform, but I usually like to change out of it right away because it's like not uncomfortable, but it's not comfortable at the same time. So I change out of it and I put workout clothes on because I like to try to go to the gym if I happen to have a time booked. My time was for 4 p.m. and I get home around like 2.40 ish. My school like gets out at 2.30 and I live really close so I get home by like 2.40 ish and I get home and I like to unpack my backpack and like plug my chargers in since I bring them to school in case my electronics die because I'm on them all day long at school and I just plug that back in, clean up my desk which I did right here and I just start by writing out a to-do list for all my homework or assignments I need to get done. So this day I happened to just not have anything besides like art projects and I would like check my email, stuff like that if I didn't do it already or just kind of take some time to kind of catch up on some stuff and like check my school page and all that. So I just sit and kind of do this for a little bit and I usually will have a snack. If I don't work out, I'll have it when I get home. Or if I do go work out, I'll have it after I work out. Or I'll just make dinner when I get home. I happen to have a the workout at 4 p.m. Because I have to book a time for the gym that we go to. Just so that way you get like the gym to yourself for like an hour. Because it's like tiny. And you don't wear a mask. So when you see me working out, that's why I don't have a mask on. Because you get it to yourself. So I've said that in multiple videos before. But I just like to say it again. And now I'm just working on my to-do list, like I said, but before the gym, I like to get some homework done, or if I have anything at night, I like to try to get my homework done. So I actually didn't really have actual homework this night, and I haven't been having too much going on, just because it is the end of the year, and I'm, I'm a senior, we're kind of like finishing up stuff, so it hasn't been too, too bad, but I was just like making my to-do list, figuring out what I wanted to get done. So I had some art projects to do. That's literally the only thing I have to do. But then I did, went and headed to the gym. I thankfully live really close to the gym. So I go get in my car and I drive there and it's like two minutes, not even to get there. So it's wicked close. Time was like 3.58 or something, 3.57 PM. And I got there like at four or like right before four. So it was perfect timing and I get to the gym and I actually was really, really sore from cheer practice like a day or two before this. So I normally run on the treadmill for like 15, 20 minutes, but instead I just did like a bike and then some arm workout. And then I ended up doing a 20 minute like stretching video from the Peloton app because my mom got that during quarantine last year just to start working out. So that's what I did. Okay guys, so 
I'm finished my workout. I'm just putting on my jacket and grabbing my mask so I can go outside, grabbing all my stuff so I can head out to my car. And I throw all my stuff in my car. And then once I get there, I show you guys that I had a good workout. I was tired and sore from practice the day or two before, but it was a nice stretch. And I come home and I was pretty hungry. So this was probably not the best decision, but I ended up having some ice cream because I was kind of in the mood for that. So I had an ice cream cone. Um, it was a new ice cream I tried, Funfetti, and it was actually pretty good. Not bad. Not my favorite, but like, it was okay. So yeah, I'm making my ice cream cone and I'll end up eating this as I finish some homework and work on some art projects, but pretty good. And I had ate some dinner later on, but yeah, after I worked out, I ate ice cream. So that's just something I've would do so I'd head upstairs to eat my ice cream and then start homework so I grabbed my iPad and I worked on my digital art piece and I started by putting on some YouTube videos so I can just have that in the background while I do my project and so I'm doing like manicure in this one so it's like a mood board kind of project so I'm just like doing some nails and like the fingertips so that was what I was working on as you can see it and I spent some time on that and I'm still not done that project and I filmed this a while ago, but whatever. I spent some time working on that and then I ended up heading over to my art desk and ignore like the dress form in the background. My prom dress used to be on it, but it was getting altered at the time that I filmed this. So it's just kind of like there, but I'm at my art desk and I'm setting up because I was going to start painting. And so I painted for probably like an hour and a half ish. I had a project that I wanted to start. I have not worked on it since, but... I started a project and then I started two little canvases that I'm just going to hang as decorations in my room, which I really need to get my art projects done first. But yeah, like I said, I just sat and did some painting and I watched Criminal Minds while I did this because I feel like I always need to have something going on in the background when I'm like working on art projects. So either YouTube videos or Criminal Minds. So usually Criminal Minds, I can like focus on my painting rather than like the show. So that's why I like to watch that. But we are just mixing some paints and it was fun. I was mixing some like light pinks for these little canvases that I'm just gonna hang in my room. But then I did eventually work on my actual project that I like actually have to get done. So that's what I did. And then once I ended up like finishing with this, I did paint for about like an hour and a half to two hours. Cause like once I start, I just paint for a while. But once I finished, I cleaned up and everything. And then I started to get ready for bed cause it was probably around like eight-ish. And I did have dinner in between here. I don't even remember like when what I had or like when, but I do eat dinner at some point. But I start to get ready for bed by putting my hair up into like a bun and putting a headband on just so I can get it out of my face so I can like take my makeup off, wash my face, unwind for the day. And so I start by taking my makeup off by using the Garnier Micellar Water. And this is like the best stuff ever. I just use a cotton round, which is, I know it's not the most like environmental friendly but it works really well and that's how I get my makeup off and it takes my mascara off perfectly and so I use that and then I also use one of those on my face just to like get all the like dust and like gross stuff off my face for the day and then I go into the bathroom and wash my face with Cetaphil daily skin cleanser and also the Thrive Cosmetics cleanser and I just mix those at night and I use my Foreo Luna mini 2 brush to wash my face because it like cleans my face so well so I just rinse it off with water and then I brush my teeth I just use an electric toothbrush and I take my contacts out because I now have the daily ones so I can just throw them away and I floss my teeth literally every night because I hate not and then I put my retainer in and then head back into my room to do my like finish up my skincare. So I'm using the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum and then I also use the CeraVe Moisturizer and I just like the way that these work on my skin and I don't always use that Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's just like when I feel like it and then I try to use a jade roller when I can because it's very relaxing and it's a really good self-care thing but if I'm like really tired and ready for bed then I won't do all these steps and I'll just put my CeraVe moisturizer on, but I do try to do it as much as I can. And then I add the Glam Glow Bright Eyes like eye cream underneath my eyes, and then I use the Rodin and Fields Lash Serum on my lashes, and that has honestly been helping my lashes grow a lot. I don't always use it, but every once in a while I do. And then I put some chapstick on because my lips are get so chapped during the night, and I don't know how, and brush my hair out because I always sleep with my hair down. And I like to either read a book or just kind of, like, get off, like, electronics for the night. So sometimes I will, like, watch a TV show while I do this. But 
I decided to start a puzzle and I still have not finished this puzzle because I'm trying to not work on it so much because I'm using it as an excuse to not do art projects in homework. So I'll either read a book, sit down, read a book or work on like a puzzle or something like that or journal or something like that. Just like wind down and then it's time for me to go to bed. So I did work on that puzzle for a couple hours and I didn't have school the next day when I filmed this. So I ended up just going to bed. So, all right. So yes, I still sleep with a teddy bear. Um, I've had this since I was a baby and it was from like my great grandmother. So that's why I sleep with it. And I don't know, I just like it. So yeah, that was pretty much all for my night routine. Pretty much the same every night. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I guess I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.